And this is the worst idea I have seen in a, in a very, very, very long time. There is, in fact, going to be a revival of the show House. This is a terrible idea. Yep. A yep. bar none, one of the worst ideas Hollywood's come up with in the last 20 years. It is actually impossible to do this show properly. They're going to gender swap house. No, no, it's a, it's a revival. It's a continuation. So it'll, it'll be the same. Well, if it, it, we don't know that oh, for sure. Now problem. he could transition yeah, there we in go. the show. There, yeah, there okay. was no, there was he, no confirmation yeah. that Hugh Laurie would stay. That, well, they, they can't do it without him. If they, they, if they cannot they, do the show They can him. try. They cannot. Right. If they gender they swap him. They did it with him. Doogie Howser. The, yeah, but that's not a continuation. That's like, a, that's a reboot. If they gender swap him, he can be even ah, like shit. 10 times as miserable yep. safely. Yep. Like with no fear of getting canceled that's or true. anything. Like he can just mm. be completely offensive and miserable. <laughs> uh, we got one more, Mary. Oh, we do? Yep. Okay. Uh, it's hey, hey, that dumb chicken <laughs> said, now I just want you to lose your train of thought. But I'm We're not, not going to lose my train of thought. So listen, guys, uh, the character of House is extremely offensive. He's misanthropic. He's a criminal. He's a sigma no, he's, male. He's, he's, <laughs> he's essentially a criminal most of the time. And my litmus test for this for this show is this. Hero. Uh, there's an episode, it's not even one of their better episodes called Skin Deep, in which he treats a 16 year old model who ends up being a hermaphrodite who seduces her own father who Hello. then they report to the cops and send her back to live with her father because neither of them will admit it. And then when it comes into the end of the episode, he tells the character, the, uh, the ultimate female is a male. If they're not willing to make that episode again, then you can't do this show. That is not even one of the better episodes. Also, I, uh, one of the other things I thought of right away was uh, the initial comments, so, like the amount of racist jokes that just come to my mind off the top of my head, um, whether it's talking about um, dumpling shops or whether it's, it's a, a bunch of stuff, right? How come it's okay to be like, oh, I just thought a bunch of yeah. racist jokes, but if you say them, then you're in trouble. You're, yeah. If you admit that you yeah. thought them, yeah. you should be in trouble too. Exactly. Well, the issue I think partly is that um, the way people view misanthropy mm. has changed and it's seen as a virtue now. Yeah. So House before, he's not a super likable guy. But in the sh Now they make all protagonists yeah. hate the world, but it's a virtue because there are good reasons to hate the world, like yeah. climate change. In, in the show, what's interesting is that most of the other characters who fight against his, his misanthropy are actually just as cynical and just as jaded as he is, but they blame him for it like he points out facts of the world and then they get mad when those facts end up being true that bothers them that's true and i want to point out that mary's right that like there is justification yeah. for hating the world because of climate change but not because of yeah. actual climate change for for, for people yeah. hate because the world of because of the way that people yeah. behave regarding <laughs> The yes. climate, the talk of climate change. Well, they uh, just make all protagonists misanthropes now. Yeah, and so he because would, people who are writing these shows hate the world. So, so beyond that, like between the characters of Cuddy, Thirteen, Park, and Adams. First of all, uh, Olivia Wilde and Charlene Yi are both, and, the, and then uh, the chick who played Masters. Uh, I don't even remember her name. That that chick was annoying. All three of them are raging feminists. All of the jokes that were funny at the expense of women would never be allowed to fly. Uh, what's her? I don't remember that. Don't Amber, remember. Amber something. Right? She's a she's a she's a, a very big feminist in Hollywood. Uh, th there's just there's no way Heard? that they can do it. Uh, no, not not Amber Heard. That would be hilarious. Also, trying it's, to think. it's funny because um, his lack of ethics in the show were just kind of part of it. Now I feel like they would focus too heavily on the ethics of it, and it would become a frontline cause for gender identity. All of those topics would be made uh, front front and center. In this you they would never let. Picture this. Uh, some parents are like, I want to give my child gender affirming care. And he's like, you're an idiot. They would never let him call them an idiot now. They would, he would have to affirm them and say, you're so stunning and brave for wanting to affirm your child's can gender. You, can you imagine what House would have done? Like if there was yeah. an, uh, uh, I mean, it would not have gone yeah. in any way that is socially acceptable nowadays. No, it, it would have never worked. It's also funny too, because for a lot of it. Or you pushed uh, it to make a point. Yeah, like he would have pushed that 
to make it and like oh let's push this as far as it can go <laughs> he cuts off the it. leg too yeah, yeah. Well, yeah and, he, and he does it like he's I, I still remember in the episode where like uh, where Bob. Chase kill, Chase kills Dabala the the, the uh, African dictator he says mm. better a murder than a misdiagnosis and he on multiple occasions in the show he's been completely willing to let patients die to mm. prove a point I uh, mean honestly a lot of doctors do that in yeah. real life we just don't talk about it it like, would be really funny if he just like someone got bottom sur surgery and he literally cut the off everything from the waist down. Well, th there, there's a there's a part in the show. There's a really funny. You want like, me to get rid of your penis? What am I right, supposed to do? There's a gone. there's there's a clinic patient who's like comes in. He's like he's like oh my arm it hurts. He's like I, he's like uh, I sleep on it every night. He's like have you ever thought about not doing that? And he's like well I can't decide that it's just how i sleep it's how i've always sleep. He's like well we could we could have surgery. He goes why to clear out some cartilage or something? He's like no to remove it. He's like, you want to cut off my arm? He's like, oh, yeah. he's like, well, you've got two, and you guys got to sleep. So it's like, the point is that he points out how stupid these people are all the time. You will die without sleep. You, you, you know, and he, there's, a, there's an episode where he has a clinic patient, or he has a patient that hasn't slept in 10 days. Uh, yeah, they do that. So look, it's a horrible idea. The character will not work. It's interesting, Mary. I didn't even think about it that way. You're probably right that uh, the misanthropy, which they show in the, it, that's done in the show, it's as if he embraces it and all the other characters are trying to fight against it. They always feel like they're being pulled into his sphere and then they blame him for the fact that the world is awful and they blame him for the fact that they're all so cynical about the way the world works now. And he points out, like he says to Foreman, he says, you've been like me since you were nine years old. Like you're, you're blaming me for something that's not my fault. It's, I, it's not my fault. I'm just showing you the way the world works. They always paint themselves into a corner with characters like House or, uh, yeah. I'm going to draw a comparison that's really weird here, but Frank Castle, where they have these like hate the world people, but at the same time, like, but they're extremely progressive in their views and they really care about like, yeah. maybe it's uh -huh. like, that's so not fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> they did do that with Frank, with yeah. Frank Castle in the show too. So, and, and look, his, his awful personality was a, was a feature. It wasn't a bug in the show. I think the, I think the, they would make the women lecture him. I think the women would lecture him yeah. and in the, in the, mo in the original version, he wouldn't be, he wouldn't take it. And in the end it wouldn't matter because he would have to be right. He wouldn't allow someone else to be right. There's a $20 one right there. Uh, X. Oh no, uh, Disco Jensen said, gender affirming care is gaslighting plus experimental mutilation. Can't change my mind. You are correct. Yeah. Um, <laughs> look, uh, I, I don't want them to make this. Plus the no. other thing is like, what, look, there's no Wilson. Wilson can't come back because Wilson, uh, spoiler alert, Wilson uh, died at the end. So he's gone. How are you going to get Olivia Wilde? Yeah, she, well, yeah. Like, she's, she's too big of a, yep. of a name now. So she, granted, she, I mean, she was kind of out at the end anyways. Mm -hmm. She wasn't, uh, by the end it was Odette Annabelle and mm -hmm. Charlene Yi, mm -hmm. uh, they were the big ones, so it wouldn't really matter. But you're right, they, they wouldn't bring her back. And but Chase- how often and, are they mentioned? Yeah. Are you bringing them oh. back? Oh. One more, Mary. Oh, uh, Joshua, wait, are we sure that this is even equivalent? I think, I think, if it's, AED? I, I think if it's orange, I think that would mean that it is. Oh, okay, I think Joshua Mookin said you should talk about the episode where house draws a mustache on a sticker of tob <laughs> yes. love from dubai yeah he he, he draws a this hitler dubai currency he, he he draws a hitler mustache on a on a park bench or on a picture of taub that's up um and he also there's there is an episode where uh they he foreman says something like he goes they talk about dating and race and he says, like, uh, he's like, it's not about race. It's not, it's not racial. It's cultural. And House goes, I don't care what my girlfriends look like as long as they can help me breed a, uh, a superior race. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, Man. I just, like, opened up um, that book that Milo Yiannopoulos wrote, Dangerous, yeah. the other day. And his one of his first chapters in the book starts with just a list of quotes from mainstream celebrities yeah. that were racist. Yeah. And they're the celebrities that you would think, like, Oh yeah, you pulled up the ladder behind you. Sarah Silverman, yeah. Amy Schumer, oh yeah, all of those people, um, just making casual jokes about race that you can't make anymore. That they'll shame other people for making. Yep, yeah. and it's not fair. it's not the same time anymore. Yeah. Oh, somebody says it's not Wilson. The same culture. Somebody said Wilson didn't die. He did have cancer though, but he had six months to live, and they went to Europe on motorcycles. It's been a lot longer than six mm -hmm. months since since 2012. So uh, unless then like barring spontaneous remission, I wouldn't even want that. that that's too much hope for, for what the show is actually meant to be. And the funny thing is we're just talking about the offensive stuff. On the whole, the writing of the show is so nuanced and good 
that there's not a single person in this room that could ever make me believe, like in any room that could ever make me believe that they have the ability to write like that anymore. They just don't. Mm -hmm. Like they, they just can't do that. Yeah. Uh, there's just too much detail, too much skill behind that. And, and they presented most of the arguments without passing judgment. So a, a lot of times it's kind of like, I brought up the idea that, or I brought up the case like in the show Blue Bloods, when they do the family dinner table scenes, uh, a different family member will present a different side of the argument. So by the nature of the show, you can't really pick, they, you can't say that the writers picked one as right or the other because they're all protagonists in the show. In this show, I don't even know if you'd call any of the characters in house protagonists. They're just characters, but they are the main characters. So there isn't really ever given a, a generally right or wrong answer to most of the conundrums that they're put in. Uh, and I just don't think that they can write with that level of nuance anymore. I don't think yeah. the socio-political culture that we live in now would allow it. And here's another example of why that's true. And that's because somebody pointed it out to me, out to me just before the show. There is actually a skit from The Daily Show that just came out about the woke mind virus. And this is starring Cal Penn. And they cut in scenes with actual, like, actual scenes from House where he's talking to this guy. And just this right here shows you the bludgeon that it would be used as if it was actually turned into a real show. Uh, I don't want to play because I don't want to get, I don't want to get copyright struck. Okay. But, but he talks to me, he's like, he, he goes like, how do you feel about, uh, about Mr. Potato Head having a penis? <laughs> and the guy's like, I don't care. Uh, and so, yeah. Thirsty? Yeah, yeah. basically. Uh, so the, it won't work. You can't do it. I refuse to allow this. I think we should start a letter writing campaign. That well, if prevents you just them. don't talk about it, I think they'll Damn they'll it. just forget. Let's that. Let's hope, right? They'll forget Let, they ever brought it up. Let's, uh, another thing that's interesting is that they make a big deal in that show about the fact that Cuddy is Jewish, and House relentlessly mocks the fact that she tries to observe certain aspects of tradition, but she's not traditionally Jewish. Which like is she, like most Jewish people these like, days. So, she, like, I don't think they would dare. Yeah. I don't think that they would even come close to going by that subject now. Uh, I, I just don't think they could do it. So, just my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.